Hey guys and welcome back. So this lecture will be a brief lecture where we talk about the latest features and updates due for Foria version 8. So noteworthy points worth mentioning are model targets with deep learning as well as generator enhancements for model targets. Recognize multiple objects from multiple angles instantly and this lamp for markerless AR. Let's take a look at each one in a bit more detail. So model targets is one of Foria's coolest features which allows developers to use objects as targets for the AR applications rather than just plain old boring images. So version 8 of Vuforia provides us with the option to train models using deep learning for instant and automatic object recognition, which I think is really really cool. So this intelligence enables us to use multiple models in a single application scene, switching seamlessly between each experience and to have those models be recognized from multiple angles. From my past experience using model target generator in Vuforia 6 and 7, I found it really difficult to detect my models. So I'm really hoping that deep learning will help improve this detection experience. We will be testing model targets in an upcoming lecture of this course, so really looking forward to that. To make the deep learning process go smoothly, Vuforia has an updated model target generator that allows you to select an automatic default viewing range for preferred recognition angles. So this is necessary because of the limited computing power of mobile devices. You can't expect to detect your model from all possible angles. Well, not yet. Hence, there is a limited range of angles for recognition which triggers another algorithm or model to track the image features once detection has been initiated. Before finalizing model guide views, the program will warn the user if the angle or chosen angle will be appropriate for training. Version 8 also adds VisLAM, also known as Visual Inertial Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, that provides a much more robust markerless AR experience on devices that do not offer this technology natively. So this would apply to phones that do not have AR Core or AR Kit. So what Vuforia has done with this upgrade is to make development simple by allowing users to create one application logic that works on all platforms, whether the device is AR Core or AR Kit compliant or not, stereo or with mono cameras. Other than that, minor improvements are support for external cameras for iOS devices. Android already has this functionality for external cameras. If you are interested in learning more about augmented reality, then I have three courses that I've mentioned. One is a complete course on AR with Vuforia, and the other second course is on integrating augmented reality with the Internet of Things or IOTA. And the third is my AR Core Masterclass. If you want to be an AR expert, then check out the links down below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next lecture.